everybody, welcome back to Gordon's Garage. Um, this episode's gonna be a little bit different. I'm back here in the original Gordon's Garage, uh, garage, and uh, this is where the show all started about a little more than two years ago. Um, anyways, I got a little project here. It's gonna be twofold, a little bit of sh Chevy work truck stuff. Um, the door handles, the interior door handle. Let me uh, show you what's going on. Hey, I apologize, it's kind of dark here in the truck and uh, we're working on this door handle right here. That door handle uh, won't open my door every time. Yeah, so I end up resorting to rolling the window down and reaching out and unlocking the door. So we gotta replace that handle. So the plan is, I got a little bag full of trim removal tools and stuff. I'm gonna have to remove a few things and uh, see if I can't get that door panel off. Then I'll see what it takes to uh, bolt this one back in its place. Man, I hope this is easy. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and remove this uh, window crank. Now, you can see that there's a little plastic um, flange in there. You got to get between it and the actual window crank and then you can get this tool in there and it looks like that. Uh, there's a little keeper ring and I'll show that to you whenever I get it off. So this is what the back side looks like. You've got a plastic cover there. We're going to take that off. And then you've got that little horseshoe shaped little plastic uh, metal ring and uh, these are becoming a thing of the past because no one has roll up windows anymore just me I guess anyways back at it I think I gotta pull that button there and maybe some other stuff and uh, let's get this door panel off okay I got down to it and it looks like I just got to uh, get this thing off and I don't know how that comes off, so all I do is rip open the package and flip this thing around to see how it mounts to the door. And it looks like um, it requires me to take a great big rubber hammer to it. Well, I can't get to those. Not like I think I could. But what has to happen is this black metal part has bolts all the way around here. And I'll have to take all those out and pull that inner door panel out off there so I can reach them. That's what's going to happen next. Okay, um, run to a little snag. Turns out the little door handle thingy, that's not really the problem. It works just fine. Uh, it turns out here in the end of the door, this part where these connect, they're kind of wore out. <laughs> so, whole different part of the door not working um, so this is what I did temporary solution I'll turn you around and show you so the only adjustment I could do is right here and this little zigzag was uh, a lot less substantial it was just a slight little bow in here and I've made it a little more drastic so that um, the end of this is further back than it used to be right there now it's right there so now, um, when I open the door, I won't be binding on the stop that's in, made into the door handle. It's actually going to uh, let me pull the bar a little further. Yeah, this is just temporary fix. I'm going to have to find these end pieces. All right, so uh, now it's time to do the passenger side. Uh, I'll give you a list of tools which you need to take off a 98 Chevy door panel. Um, this is a, uh, what is this, 10 millimeter socket. I have a seven, seven, seven millimeter socket. Add a couple of these to bend that rod a little more severely. So uh, you might need something if you're going to do that. Uh, but to take the door panel off, you don't need those. I got these things. They're really handy. They're made of plastic, uh, Harbor Freight, find it. Um, this pull the window roller, hand crank roller off. Uh, sometimes these don't actually match up to your vehicle. Um, a little too narrow, too wide. And that's why I have one of these. This little pick thing will get in there and 
hook that sucker and get it out. Uh, had a little rubber mallet so I could knock that thing back and uh, never hurts to have a little flashlight. So I gotta not take this one off and replace the door handle on it. It doesn't give me any troubles. I just now know what to do. I can get it done quick. Anyways, you see this little button thing right here? You ain't gotta mess with it. It's nothing. It don't attach to anything but that plastic door panel and it's not holding anything down. So you can leave it alone and you can leave that alone. Uh, you'll have to take this off in order to get it back on. Once to get this on top of that little metal edge, yeah, that's got to come off. But it's not hard. One little pry thingy and it's off. All right, there's one other tool. Yeah, the Phillips screwdriver. Um, my driver's side's missing this and uh, it takes two Phillips screws and it comes out. Okay, so that's uh, part one of this video. Um, I gotta put these tools up. I gotta do two things. I'm gonna go uh, take that truck to the shop, Gordon's garage, and uh, I'm going to uh, do some more to the truck. Y'all remember what, it, what the second part might be? Any guesses? Well, if you guess put in bucket seats, you'd be correct. All right, so uh, we're gonna take uh, a little break for y'all, a little mean break. Enjoy that. Part two of this uh, little adventure is going to be out here at the shop here with the Camaro still being worked on but today we're going to take out this uh, bench seat which isn't a true bench seat it's a 60 40 split the driver's seat is uh, extra wide and the passenger's uh, kind of like a bucket and we're going to take that out and get those bucket seats there and put them in so yeah let's get to work All right, so uh, that's all those bolts. Let's see if this chair will come out of here. It's a mess under there. Ooh, dimes, quarters, what? Crochet needle? Hey, I know who that belongs to. Let's see what else is under there. Okay, so uh, the passenger seat, it'll bolt straight into where the other seat used to be. 
Now the 60-40 split, the larger bench seat part of this, um, it bolted here in the center of this hump. And this hump isn't your typical hump. It's not like a rounded hump. It's actually a large flat plane. And uh, yeah, so this is where the right hand side of the bench for the driver's seat bolted in. But this bucket seat is gonna have to go right about here. And I'm not quite sure. I might get lucky. Right here in the floor, there's a couple of indentations like it might be modified for either option. You could have the 60-40 uh, or two buckets. I'm gonna have to give me a knife out, cut me a couple holes in this carpet, and see how hard this is gonna be to get me a couple bolts to go in right here and right there. Well, I'm not too lucky. Uh, there's a spot here for that to mount to, but there's no nut on the bottom side for me just to screw into it. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to be able to hold the bolt on the top side of the floorboard and reach underneath and get to the bottom side, but at least I have a spot to bolt it to. Okay, so I got a little bit lucky. Uh, when I cut the carpet back on this side, it actually had this bolt sitting in there and I don't know what it holds on the bottom side. I think it's just sitting there. I don't see it falling apart. Um, so all I got to do is I got me a bolt nut and a washer and I'm going to drill a hole in this front one and we should be good to go. Okay, so my next game plan is uh, these bolts that came out are gunked up with gooey black something. I think somebody either used the black RTV to make it as a, like a beadlock or a Loctite, or um, maybe it's the undercoating that got sprayed. I don't know. Um, anyways, nevertheless, I need to make sure these don't wobble back out on me. I need to clean the threads up with the wire brush, and I need to find some Loctite. So. Uh, then we're gonna set a seat in here. Y'all ready? Okay, so I had to use some pre-existing cut holes in the floorboard made for electric wires and I have hooked myself up with the plugs that belong to the seats because these new seats or used seats are uh, electric, not manual. So uh, yeah, um, I got the electric run and now it is time to try to bolt in, I think the driver's seat. Let's try to do this. Now for the center console part. It's not gonna be too bad. It's got this little bracket that goes on the floor that it slides back in and hooks to. And the front, you can access through this top here, straight down, and it, just a couple of bolts there too. Um, this is not like something you depend your life on like the seat. The seat needs good grade eight bolts to hold you in. Um, but uh, this thing, I think I'm gonna use self-tapping screws. I might have to cut a little carpet away so the, the screws don't get caught up in all the carpet. But yeah, let me uh, take a black marker, mark out where this is gonna sit cut it away with a knife and uh, yeah, zip zip. Yeah, everything on Facebook or YouTube, I mean, uh, isn't always uh, rainbows and sunshine cookies. Uh, yeah, this stuff uh, sat out in the junkyard for a while and collected a bunch of dirt and this is probably one of the better ways to get it out. I'll hit it with a shop vac as well. Whew. While I'm doing this, do me a favor and uh, like and subscribe down below.
All right, I'm gonna get in here and try this on for size. They're actually, yeah, that's pretty comfortable. I like this. Let's see if they still work. They're working. Now I just need them. Um, need to see what they all do. I need to put my seatbelt thing back together. Now um, the center console thing, I'll show you here in a second. It's up against this seat, but I've got a gap on this seat. And I would like to have room to put, uh, you know, notebook and, or, or so such on this side. And uh, yeah, got my little armrest. It's doing good, doing real good. I like everything. Um, what does this do? Oh, yeah. I can take a nap in here now. All right. Well, um, man, this is going to wrap up this video. I got some cleaning to do, wiping out of some stuff, and uh, I'm hooked up. Y'all have a good weekend.